But first, examining the roots of hatred with visual and performing arts, Michael Schlesinger looks ahead to this evening's powerful performance at the Milwaukee Art Museum, featuring a nearly 100-year-old groundbreaking film paired with paintings and music from the Milwaukee-based ensemble Present Music. For a silent movie, the theme of this particular film and its undertones reverberate loudly. It's called The City Without Jews. The setting is in a fictitious place in Austria, circa the mid-1920s. The story centers around a law forcing Jewish people to leave the area. Unfortunately, more, more relevant than ever. Yaniv Diner will conduct the film's score. If this man seems familiar to you, he actually was resident conductor at the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra for eight years. Best musical time of my life. Interestingly enough, I'm told the original movie somehow disappeared, but then resurfaced in 2015. An Austrian composer came up with a new score. And this is what Yaniv and musicians from the contemporary nonprofit Present Music will perform Sunday evening at the Milwaukee Art Museum. They do things that are out of the box and uh, that are so cool and they play in different venues. So I'm, I'm really happy that I, I was asked to, to conduct this concert. Present music continues to give me songs that are very powerful, that are very meaningful. Um, they're a fantastic organization and they really explore um, music and lyric and just um, composition. And I'm gonna get through this world the best I can if I can. Donna Woodall has sung with the present music ensemble many times. The singer, by the way, just received a huge nod. She's the Wisconsin Area Music Industry's female vocalist for 2023. For this event, she'll be singing a song called Gonna Get Through This World. I'm gonna get through this world the best I can if I can. The lyrics, in part, come from famed folk singer and writer Woody Guthrie. Get through this world the best I can. I'm going to work in this world the best I can, and I'm going to clean up this world the best I can. And I think I can. So again, it's a it's a song that gives a bit of optimism and hope that we can step up and do our part to make the world a better place. She adds the messaging couldn't have come at a better time. It speaks to anti-Semitism. It speaks to um, the atrocities that um, came along with that. And so I, I think that it will People will watch this and definitely be able to make parallels between um, then and now. This crooner also says the tune is really a call to action. I think you step up with your actions. I think um, you can say the words, but I, I do think your involvement, your caring, your compassion, um, and the things that you do to, may maybe it's volunteering, maybe it's just listening, um, maybe it's helping where you can. One small thing can cause a ripple effect. This movie, in a, in a way, kind of predicted the events of the Holocaust. And one, one of the phrases that we always say that uh, is related to, to the Holocaust is never again. We'll, uh, we'll never we'll never let it happen again. Born in Israel, Yaniv knows the importance of this particular performance as well. To present the score uh, as as best as I can, to 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 make the audience understand it and and experience it and feel it. The rest, like they say, is up to us. It has a significant meaning, uh, especially to our world today. Uh, and I think it's going to be a, a powerful experience for everybody. Step up to be a part of healing and not hurting. <laughs>